Welcome to my kitchen. Today I'd like to add a twist to an old traditional dish, shepherd's pie. You have deer meat, you want to know what to do with it, get another idea. I'm going to show you one way how I would prepare shepherd's pie. I'm going to heat up the oil, get it nice and hot. We're going to cut up the onion, red onion, yellow, green, doesn't really matter. Let's throw it in the pot. We're going to throw some carrots in there. We're going to cut them into small cubes. Like that. If you have celery, you can throw that in. We decided that we're just going to skip it so that if we have fewer ingredients to prep, but do whatever vegetable you have. You can even use parsnips, turnips, whatever. Cut it nice and small because it's going to be in a shepherd's pie. It's a casserole, so you don't want big chunks. Okay. If you have any peppers kicking around, same thing. Cut those nice and small, yellow, green, whatever you have. Throw that in there. Okay, we're going to throw one the other piece in there. Next, we're going to throw in a little bit of garlic. Add whatever, however garlicky you want it. We'll put in uh, four cloves. And you can use garlic powder if you want. But I myself prefer to have, have it fresh. Okay, mince it up. Throw in a few bay leaves. They're going to add a little flavor. And Count how many bay leaves you put in there because you want to take those out after. Add a little, just a little bit of salt just to give the um, vegetables a little bit of seasoning. We're going to use a little bit of uh, black pepper. Open it. A little black pepper. It's a nice coarse one. Okay, and we're going to brown this a little bit. Let that totally. So we've uh, cleaned the meat. So we're just going to throw it all in there. We're just going to fry it up. The meat was nicely washed with a little bit of wine just to get some of the edge off. Some people don't like the gaminess, so we're going to minimize that by actually using a beef broth. You could use water, you could use chicken broth, whatever you want. But if you uh, blend it with some uh, beef, that will minimize that gaminess that not everybody likes. And this way, everybody can enjoy the dish. Welcome back. Right now, we've, uh, the vegetables and the meat that we've blended together has now cooked for about 15-20 minutes. So you can see it's, it's getting cooked, it's melting together. We have the boiled salted water. Here we've got the mixture of carrots, sorry, um, sweet potato and uh, potatoes. We're putting them in boiling salted water and that will be the uh, top portion of the stew. Now we're getting ready for the seasonings and adding the broth so that that can cook for another 45 minutes. So we're just using a sodium reduced uh, beef broth just to be a little bit health conscious, just to keep things uh, a little less salty. So we don't need all of it. Okay, so we've got that in. So we're gonna add some seasonings. You can add whatever seasonings you like, but I like to add a little bit of nutmeg. So we're gonna give that a bit of a seasoning. We're gonna put a little bit of paprika. The paprika is actually gonna impart a nice color to it and then just give it a very subtle taste but the function is more for color it really looks nice and we're gonna just give it a little touch of heat a little bit of cayenne not too much just a little bit just to give it a little tickle on your tongue okay and we're gonna add a little bit more black pepper to that okay and we're gonna add just a little bit of wine just to kick it up a notch just a tiny bit that's it so this now will cook for about 45 minutes. We're going to close the lid. The phase of the dish will be to uh, thicken that and make the mash. And the key to making this taste really good is you got to make a killer mash. You got to season it right. You got to have a little bit of butter in there. It's got to be creamy and then that really imparts that, that deluxe flavor to this dish. Okay, so we're going to just let that cook and I'll return in about half an hour. Okay, to thicken it, you have different options. We could do a cornstarch and water slurry, or we can do um, oil and uh, 
flour. So we're going to do the cornstarch since it's lower fat. So a little bit, about two thirds of a cup of water, and we're going to put one, one teaspoon, heaping teaspoon of cornstarch. We're going to make a slurry, which is just a, a water mixture. Okay, and this will thicken it, and this will bind it. Okay, so because shepherd's pie, you don't want it too gravy-ish, too wet. So we're just going to add a little bit at a time. And we're just going to make a nice, thick stew. Okay, like that. Okay, and then you you have to let it cook out for a few minutes because it has a very starchy flavor. Meanwhile, we can actually fish out the uh, bay leaves. So we had, remember, we had three. So there's one, two. And we'll find the last one. Three. Okay, that's three. We're going to turn it off. Let it sit. We, uh, we have our mash that's ready to go, so we will now build our casserole. So we have a fireproof casserole. Whatever you have on hand could be metal. So we're just going to empty that this mixture into the, uh, into the casserole. And we're just going to bake it at 400 for about maybe 10 minutes, and then we're going to put the broiler on uh, with the breadcrumbs on, on top and just give it a, just a little bit of a crust. Now we'll put that on the top to complete our shepherd's pie. Okay, normally if you had if you had corn or whatever other vegetable you could have put that first and then put this mixture on top all right there we go just flatten it out just get it over the edges a little bit I think this casserole is just perfect we just got the right amount in there and what I like to do is I like to use a fork to make ridges. So we take this fork and we just make ridges like that. Okay, just a little bit of paprika on there. And just a few breadcrumbs just to impart some texture to it. Just like that. Perfect. And um, that's it. We're just going to put it in the oven and we're going to bake it for about 10 minutes and another 5 minutes on the broiler and then we're, we'll be done. So we'll come back when we take this out of the oven. Wow. <laughs> That's amazing.